My name is Mike Dietz, and I'd like to speak to you about the potential for using near-term iterative forecasting to advance U.S. Forest Service land management and decision support. For context, I'm a forest ecologist at Boston University who uses a combination of field research, remote sensing, and models to understand and predict forest dynamics and disturbance. This pitch was co-authored by a team with broad experience in forest dynamics, remote sensing, model data simulation, decision science, and ecosystem service valuation. We are making this pitch on behalf of the Ecological Forecasting Initiative, an interdisciplinary consortium of hundreds of researchers working to build a community of practice around iterative forecasting. Unlike many other pitches, we are not presenting a single tool or application, but rather an approach with many applications. I'd like you to imagine a future where NASA and US Forest Service monitoring data are used to drive real-time forecasts that continually update our understanding of the state of US forests and rangelands and dynamically project responses to land management options so that we can better maximize human health, ecosystem services, and economic growth. Just as with weather forecasting, the key to this is the idea of iteratively updating our forecasts as new information becomes available. Also like weather forecasting, no single observation provides a complete picture of how systems are operating. So we need to be able to combine many different sources of information from both the field and satellites that are frequently at different spatial and temporal scales. Process models provide an ideal scaffold for this sort of data fusion because they allow us to use process understanding to link information on multiple coupled processes across different scales. Decisions are fundamentally based on what we think will happen in the future, given different actions or scenarios. Forecasts embody our best scientific hypotheses of what we expect to happen in that future based on our current understanding and observations. And thus forecasts can be designed to directly support decision-making. Iterative forecasts in particular are deeply synergistic with adaptive management approaches. These forecasts are updated as new information becomes available and can help us understand and identify decision rules by which land management decisions ought to be revisited to increase the likelihood of desired future outcomes. Models have a long history within US Forest Service decision-making, but iterative forecasts refocus our modeling efforts on the timescales most needed by land managers. Indeed, iterative forecasts are emerging for numerous decision-relevant problems in ecology and natural resource management that have broad socioeconomic impacts, including fire, drought, forest pests and pathogens, human disease vectors, water resources, animal populations, soil health, forest growth, restoration, and carbon storage. Examples of forecasts currently running in my own lab demonstrate a capacity to make predictions on multiple time frames and spatial scales that iteratively assimilate remote sensing, in this case, MODIS, Landsat, Hyperspectral, and Phenocams, to scale up forest inventory data and Ameriflux field measurements of carbon and water stocks and fluxes. Specifically, the left-hand side shows true forecasts of carbon, water, and phenology that are being updated every day for a collection of sites across the US. The right-hand side shows an example single point from within a continental scale hindcasts that's producing a reanalysis of productivity and carbon storage, which illustrate this iterative cycle of making a prediction that is then confronted with new observations and then updated. Our next steps are to continue to scale up our existing forecasts and integrate more remote sensing constraints such as JEDI, microwave, soil moisture, and vegetation optical depths, solar-induced fluorescence, and thermal data. We would be very excited to work with US Forest Service to develop decision support tools and incorporate management scenarios that operationalize this emerging technological capacity. We also feel there's an enormous opportunity to expand on these approaches to develop new iterative forecasts that use NASA data to meet US Forest Service needs. Thank you.